Okay. So, feel welcome to breathe in however you naturally breathe. The wonderful thing about our bodies is they know how to breathe. We don't have to worry about if it's in our nose or our mouth. Body will take care of it. I'd like you to give your feet permission to relax. Tell your feet that they have the ability on their own right to be open and flowing. Any energy that's coming into your body is able to just flow through you and down and out of your feet, deep into earth. And you'll find when your feet relax, the top of your head automatically and naturally relaxes in response. You may feel like the top of your head is opening up or like it's light and airy or tingling or just feels a little more looser. more porous, energy feels comfortable flowing in through the top of your head. And you may notice as the top of your head relaxes, your feet automatically and instinctively relax even further so that your root chakra as it flows into earth is comfortably expanding wider, giving you a beautiful, solid base for the energy to flow out. And as your root chakra expands of its own accord, your crown chakra expands even more, allowing even more energy to flow into your body. And as your crown chakra expands and opens and the energy flows in through your mind, and your throat, your back and shoulders, and down through your heart and your lungs, through the core of your body, down through your hips and legs, down to your very relaxed feet flowing into earth. You'll notice you don't need to worry about any blocks or chakra issues because the energy knows how to flow all by itself. It doesn't worry or care about energy kinks or chakra blocks. It just flows around or through or sometimes picks these blocks up and carries them away. Like a river flowing down a mountain will find a twig and carry it on down, further down to the base of the river and into the ocean. I would like you to imagine for a moment that you are on the top of a beautiful mountain. Where the mountain is is entirely up to your imagination. The temperature, day or night, whatever comes into your mind is perfect for you. You're at the top of a beautiful mountain with your feet, feet planted beautifully in the ground. Or you can even wiggle your toes into the soil. 
can smell the air. What sort of plants are around you? How much moisture is in the air? Does the air feel warm from the sunlight or crisp from the twinkling stars? Allow yourself to relax and let the senses of your mountaintop flow in and surround you. Fill your senses. You can even feel the rocks and the soil and the plants. Listen to the birds, insects. Look and see what animals are around. Is there anyone climbing the trees or grazing nearby or stealthily hunting those who graze? Look even further around you. What sort of vista is about? What do you see? You're on the mountaintop. You can see in every direction. You can even turn and look. Do you see cities, towns, villages, or farms? Or is it all nature? Are there other mountains? Do you see any ancient ruins anywhere? Turn your attention upward to the sky. Feel the majesty of the sky above. Clouds, air, stars, atmosphere leading to hemisphere leading off to the universe. You'll notice as you look up in the sky a rope of light is dropping down to you. And if you look up, you'll see guides and guardians, angels and light beings up there sending a rope of light dangling down from the skies, flowing down to you. As it comes to you, reach out your hand and catch it. Step into this wrap the rope around you and see how the light looks and feels as it wraps around your body, covering you with light, flowing light, 
threads of light. Twirling and twining around you. Allowing you to feel safe as though you're being wrapped into a cocoon of divine love sent to you by those who care the most for your joyous well-being. And you feel this rope pulling you up raising you up as you are rising, rising up. You can feel your friends above beckoning to you, calling, coaxing this rope of light upward. pulling you up as you find yourself rising up. If you look down, you see the mountain below you. You feel yourself rising up more as the air becomes a little thinner, but your breath is comfortable. And rising up a little more as you feel moisture wrapping around your body, everything becomes a little white filtered as you rise up into the clouds with mist flowing around you. You find yourself rising up surrounded by cool mist, fog, and steam, and jetties of this smoky cloud substance flowing and billowing all around you. You can't even tell up from down, right from left, because all you see is cloudy, flowing air. And you find yourself rising up a little more, coming out. Into the stars. Rising up out of the blue air into the black horizon. Rising up into the cosmos, past the Milky Way, past the universe, on up The more you rise, the more you find yourself just being, until you find yourself on a new mountaintop, the land called the Bardo, the Twilight Realm, the land that exists between time and space. The land that exists between physical, energetic, spiritual. A place between all places that connects everyone and everything and yet exists between all connections. Here you are in the twilight realm, the coil of light 
is releasing from you. You are released, so you may stand on your own in the land between all lands. And look about this twilight realm. I would like you to feel in your heart a person, friend, or family that you wish to call to you in the here and now. And there in the bardo, allow your soul to, soul to call out, I call to you. You must come to me here and now to the twilight realm so that we may resolve our connections and rapport. And as soon as you call out, you see this person walking towards you. That whom you called is here. You may take a moment and talk. Look this person in the face. If there is anything in your heart you wish to share, you may do so now. And this person is contractually obligated to hear you. I'd like you to now look at the lines of connection between the two of you. Which way does the energy flow? What do these lines of connection look like? Do they look like light? Do they look like plant roots or ribbons? Do they look like poison ivy or spider webs. Look at the lines of connection between you. Look at the direction the energy seems to flow in each line. Observe which lines have love and which lines are non-love. You'll notice the one that you have called is also observing these lines. And now, I would like you to look in your hand. Look in your hand and you will find a cutting implement there. This cutting implement is unique for you. And it may even change from ceremony to ceremony. It may be a sword or a knife, a lightsaber or your hand may be very sharp. Whatever the implement is, is perfect for the task at hand. 
I would like you to raise your hand up and cut through the lines of connection between you and that who is here with you. Cut all around your body, above your head, under your feet, behind your back. If the implement doesn't reach that far, you'll see it can extend its energy to cut in all directions. As you are cutting again and again, you'll notice the lines of love cannot be severed. Only any debris or darkness that is on them will be severed and the lines of love are amplified, brightened. The love is even blossoming as all the non-love is severed and the lines of connection go back into yourself and the other so that you may heal and release. When you have finished cutting, see the lines of connection between you and the one you have called. Feel your heart and honor whatever feeling is in your heart. It is perfectly natural for connections that have been cut to try to find their way to reach out and reconnect. You may find this other one will wish to send their non-love connections back into you. You do not need to accept them. You may find an impulse of yourself to reconnect. Because non-love can become a habit, but you are not required to do so. If in the future you find yourself doing so, you may do the cord cutting ceremony again and again, as often as you wish, need, or desire. Give this whom you called permission to step back and now I would like you to call your family or your closest friends, whomever is closest in your heart, to come forward and join you here in the Bardo, the Twilight Realm. Understand whomever you call, their soul is contractually obligated to appear. It doesn't matter how many show up now. It may be one person. It may be many. Just call out those who are closest to my heart. Appear here before me now. And as those who love you gather around, lift up your sword and cut all the lines of connection surrounding you to each and every one of them. And you'll see how beautifully the love is amplified and how easily the non-love is dismissed, sent away. Cut and cut and cut.
And now, I would like you to call all in your family and among your friends that you wish to have here, your extended friends and family, those that you are connected to for the holidays, those you are connected to for your lifelong memories, those who have an impact on your daily sense of self. Invite them all here and you'll see they appear because their souls are contractually obligated to arrive. And now, as you raise your hand with your cutting implement, invite each of them to do the same with theirs, and then all of you start cutting, cutting in front of you, behind you, beneath and above you, cut, 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 and as you are cutting, all the threads and connections of non-love disappear. You can see lines pulling back into yourself, lines pulling back into everyone. And you see the lines of love are amplified. All the threads and lines of connection between you are glowing brighter, flowing with greater intensity and power radiating. Take a moment to look at this beautiful vista of love this panorama of the people who have meaning for you and you have meaning for them and see the beautiful connections between you and the gorgeous glow that emanates from your love. You can call out, I love each and every one of you. And the truth is right there for all to see. And listen as you hear every person there call out, I love each and every one of you. It is so, and it is true. You can each come closer together and give each other a large group hug. Feel the palpable flow of love that is energetic and touch between all of you as you hear the murmur again and again through this crowd of connection saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. And 
then it is time for your dear friends and family to return to their time and space. And you have one more task ahead of you. You find yourself again standing alone on the bardo, the twilight realm. I would like you to call out whoever or whatever is weighing me down, is bringing sorrow to my heart or anxiety to my soul. Step forward, reveal yourself, show yourself to me now. And then you wait completely open to whatever presents itself. A thought, an emotion, a memory, a place, person. What is before you now? Allow it put to present itself however it does, in whatever form, with whatever senses it connects with. Look at the lines of connection between you. What do the lines look like? And how is the energy flowing through these lines? How does it feel to be connected in this way? Release yourself from the feeling and instead raise up your hand. Acknowledge the implement within it and cut through these cords. Cut, cut, cut. Cut all around you, in front of you, behind you, your sides above and below. Cut all the connections. And now, I want you to do something special. Invite your angelic guides to send their love into you through the top of your head, through your crown chakra. Invite those who love you with absolute purity and joyous intention to flow their divine grace into your body and fill your being, fill your heart, fill your lungs and your breath pump their love into your physical heart so it can mix with your blood and oxygen and flow through all of your flesh and organs. Fill yourself and let this love flow out of you like an auric emanation. Feel how worthy you are of this wonderful divine love and how natural it is to fill and flow within your being. Allow the emanation of this love to flow from you to that which you have called to this place. This is completely one way direction. You are sending a flush of love to that which you called. It is not your love. 
It is divine love flowing through you, filling you, and then to this other. And watch as they are filled with the divine angelic love. Divine angelic love coming in through the top of your head, filling your body. flowing from your body through the cords to the other, filling them and glowing from them. And now I want you to take your implement and cut the cords again. Because of course, Love can only be amplified. And feel how these cords that are filled with divine love are amplified and sent back to both of you. The divine love that's filled your cords is sent back into your heart and your soul. So that you may have divine love flowing in through your head and divine love flowing in through the cords, both directions, going straight to your heart and from there filling your entire being with love. Look to the one that you called and see how it has transformed what it has morphed into now that it is flush with divine love and your connection is only love. Release it to return to its time and space. And allow yourself to continue being filled with divine love. So you take your implement and sheath it wherever you naturally wish to store it so that your cutting implement is there for you whenever you wish for or need it. Allow yourself to fill with even more divine love. Let yourself just fall backward into this love and let it wash over you and fill your molecules and neurons, your atoms, your pores, your bones, being one with this resonance of love. Allow the love to bring you back here into your physical body in this time and space. Allow your love being and your flesh being to merge as one. For indeed, you are a being of love. And give yourself a moment to let all the love energy really become one with your body.
when you are ready, you can wiggle your toes and your fingers a little. You may even wish to raise your hands up and cover your eyes to give them a little energy before they open. And I welcome you back to this time and this space.